a quick look at Padlet. It's a great resource. It allows you to provide students a platform where they can share information, but not necessarily be doing the work at the same time. You can sign up for a free account. When you do, this is your home screen, and it will show the, the Padlets you have created. It will give you access to join Padlets that are already in place, you can check out their gallery and then of course make your own. So when you select making your own, you have a choice what type of Padlet you want to create. It can be anything from a wall where students are just contributing their thoughts to maps, timelines, and group chats. So you can use it to share ideas and get student feedback. This is an example from a school looking for um, themes for a dance and you can see here at the bottom when you hover over those hearts that gives you your opportunity to vote so you can post what you want students to consider and then allow them to vote this is shared using a link so and your settings allow you to decide is it something that you're sharing with everyone something that's only shared with a specific group something that's shared just with those people who have the link. You can add um, pictures. Here you can see that some of them are animated. So you have a lot of options when you're adding information. It can be used to collect book report information. You can see here the teacher provided a template and all of these students, and again this is a model, created their feedback and they were able to add pictures as well. The teacher customized here with their title, the backgrounds were selected. This was for fifth grade. Something similar can also be done at the high school level and I wanted to show you this one because it combines the use of not only written text, images, but also SoundCloud recordings can be uploaded. This student picked a different way to submit and used Padlet Drive to do a different recording as well. So lots of options for the way students want to respond. Here's one that's going to be used by a teacher at my school later today. She will share the link with her students so that they can add their thoughts by clicking this plus button. Um, and once they do that, you can see here we've got the options people are submitting there. And here, if you're building a Padlet yourself, once I click on my title, I can change it to anything I want. I can add a description here and it will display for students. Here is that web address that I'm going to be able to share with students so that they can add. And you can change your background colors and patterns. You can change the fonts. You can make the post anonymous or it will display who posted. It'll let you choose where you want new posts to show. You can have students interact with each other by commenting on each other's posts. They can also give reactions. Um, they can like them. They can vote for different things. They can give stars and they can grade. Or that can be something you do. You can definitely filter profanity. Um, require approval before it posts if you want to make sure nobody's posting things that are inappropriate. And as you make these changes you can save them. And now let's look at this as if I wanted students to add. So here I can add to this. I can upload something from my desktop, a file that I have saved on my computer. I can connect to a link anywhere on the web. It will allow me to search images, videos, GIFs so that I can upload those. 
I can take picture. And here I have tons of choices on what I want to upload. So if you have students who typing is not their thing, they can do a voice recording. They can do film recordings. So tons of different formats to meet the needs of a variety of learners. Also, drawing is an option which lots of students enjoy. You can customize this. It can be used across the curriculum. And students have the opportunity to title their work and then respond. I hope you'll try out this cool free resource and that your students will enjoy it.